guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And in today's video, we're gonna share some ultimate back to school supplies. Now this video is part of a collaboration with a lot of other homeschool mamas and it's hosted by Leilani from Living With Eve. So you definitely wanna go check out her channel as well as the playlist that will be linked down below so you can find out what some ultimate back to school supplies are. Now, you've got to remember Ultimate is going to look very different for everyone. What I think is wonderful is going to be totally different from the next mom, so you're going to get lots of ideas from this video. Now, we all know that we love laminators and binding machines and pens and pencils and notebooks. We're trying to bring you some different things to show you some things you may not know about yet or may not realize that you really need. So you definitely wanna check out all the videos. Don't think you have to run out and buy any of this stuff. If what you're doing works in your homeschool and you know what supplies you need, then that is awesome. We'd still love your support of watching these videos, but don't feel like you have to go and run and buy these things. These are just merely what works for us and we wanted to share them with you. So check out that playlist and check out Leilani's channel. So the things that I'm gonna share with you are things that help us in our home. When I think of ultimate, um, it's gotta be something that keeps my life simple, that keeps my life organized, and it's something that's actually going to work in my home. I don't want things just for the sake of having things. I do not like to have a lot of stuff sitting around. So the things that I have in my home have a purpose. And that to me is ultimate. If it works and it's amazing for me, then I wanna share it with you. And a lot of these things I even used in my classroom and I've continued using them in my homeschool because they work for me. So you may already know about these, but you may not. So I wanna show you. So four of these things are gonna be organizational things. And then the last thing I'm gonna share is just something that I think every homeschool needs because it's so awesome. So let's get into this wonderful, ultimate back to school supplies. My first ultimate back to school supply, you've probably seen it. If you've been around here for any time, this thing is featured in almost every one of my day in the life videos. And that is this cart right here from Michaels. This is the Hudson cart. I picked it up last year. Absolutely love it. This thing right here, of course, has wheels. Anytime you can get a piece of furniture with wheels, do it because it's life changing. So this is our homeschool cart. This is what we use on a daily basis every day that we do school because I can move it from where I store it in my bedroom to wherever we wanna homeschool. If it's on the bed, on the couch, at the breakfast nook, this goes everywhere and it holds everything we need. And so on here I've got our gather around homeschool stuff. So any of the metal stuff you see comes from Hobby Lobby and that's just extra because you could take this cart and you could do whatever you wanted to do with it, whatever you want to do. But here's my um, caddy from Hobby Lobby that holds all of our stuff. You're going to see these later in this video. That's our geography cards that we're using. Um, and this just holds everything we need. So these are like extra supplies. It holds our dry erase board and our clipboard that we use. This is some other books we have like math and his writing folder. And then on the bottom are just some more caddies with our writing utensils and then our fidget toys. You can put anything you wanted to on these tiered shelves. They are amazing. If you don't want a cart this big, they do have this option. Now you can get this option without all this extra stuff you can buy one that's completely plain i know they sell them at walmart and target and ikea they have all kinds this one came from michael's i liked this one because of the attachments because i could hang things and put things on the bottom and it had this extra stuff on the side now i do use this one for planning supplies but you could also use this if you just want something smaller to move around your house or have one for each kid you could totally do that so these are ultimate to me because they are used daily in my home. They get tons of use. The second supply that I want to share with you is something that I use a lot, okay? And that is Latchmate containers. So this is one of them. I have two in this size and then I have this bigger one. And I'll link them down below so you can see what size they are. But I love Latchmate containers. We use these. Um, I use the smaller one for two purposes. This one that is full to the brim with all this mess. This is the one that I take to and from our co-op because it holds so much stuff. 
So this one goes back and forth from our co-op on Mondays. The other one that I have that's this size is the one that I load up our gather round homeschool supplies and we take it to the park or to, we have a place called the Big Springs or you could take it to a bookstore. It's an awesome, awesome box to put your things in and go do your homeschool somewhere else outside of your home. I've also seen where people just use these in their home to store each of their children's homeschool materials. We love these like to make containers. And the great thing about them is you can almost always catch them on sale at Michael's. That's the best time to buy them. So actually a lot of the stuff I'm showing you today comes from Michael's because I have a slight obsession with Michael's. I mean, it's okay. It's, it's not, it's not out of hand, but I do have an obsession with Michael's. But the great thing about these, I won't show you this one because this one's a disaster. Let me show you the top of the latch make containers. So when you take off the lid, the top looks like this. So you have all these little compartments so that can fit your scissors, your glue sticks, your crayons, your pens, your pencils, your tape, your binoculars, your nature guides, whatever you need for a day outside the house can fit right here. That's what I love about them. And then they just sit back into the container and you put the top on and you go on with your day. Now for this large one, what I do with this one is when we're finished with our gather round unit, because it usually takes about five weeks to finish it, it stays in here because this stays in my closet. So I just put all of them in here and at the end of the year, I clean this out and I take it, all that stuff down to my basement and put it in our homeschooling container. So that's what I use this one for. It's a lot deeper than the other one. So this is ultimate to me because it helps me take my things outside of my home in a neat and organized fashion. All right, the third thing that I wanna share is again from Michaels. I told you, it's an obsession. So I'm not sure what these are called, but if you go in any Michaels on any given day, they have a ton of these. They even have some in different colors, but I'm just obsessed with clear because Clear is easy to match. I'm not one of these people that like to pick a certain color because you can't always find the same color. Clear is easy. You can match clear. You can find clear containers. So I don't know what they're called, but I love them. And I use these to store the unit studies that we're going to do again. So like we use Gather Round and we're gonna use American government or US government, US government. We're gonna use it again when my son's in high school. So I just put everything we needed it just opens up like this. Everything we need for U.S. government is right here. So I have like our heritage letter that we're going to use. I have books that we're going to use. The teacher's guide. All of that can go inside here. So you could use this for any unit studies you have. You could do, if you do theme boxes, if you do holidays. This could even be great for just like a busy box or a sensory bin for one child. This can store so much stuff. So that's what I love about them. I always use them to store my unit studies and I just stick it on a shelf in my closet where I like to store these. They store easily, they keep everything together. You could even throw a label on it right here. So when you need this unit again, you just go pull it out. So these are awesome, they're from Michaels too. All right, fourth thing I wanna share, and again, it's from Michaels. Now I do know that Walmart was selling these at one point. I don't know if they still have them, but at Michaels, they have these all the time. You can also get these in clear, but when I got these, all they had was the rainbow ones. So uh, at least the outside's clear, right? So these are awesome. These are actually photo and craft keepers, but you know teachers and homeschool moms, we can find a use for just about anything. So what I love about this is I can store a variety of things in it. Um, they, this opens up and then you just take out the individual boxes. So like this is a science game and let's show you another one. These are flashcards because one thing I absolutely hate about flashcards is trying to get the cards back in the box without ripping the box, especially if your kids are trying to put them back in the box. So this makes it easy. They can use exactly what's in here. They open up super easy. They can use whatever's inside and then it closes right back and then you just pop it into the storage container. So this holds 
all kinds of things. Um, when I was a teacher, I put mini erasers in here. So if you use small manipulatives where you don't want a huge basket of them at a time, you can put just enough for your kiddo in here and they can open this up and use it. You could make these to be little handwriting, like sand trays, you know, where they learn how to handwrite. You could put Legos in here for car rides. There are so many uses for these, and I'm sure you could come up with a ton more. We store our geography cards in here that we use on a daily basis. Um, little bitty card games like Uno and things like that. There are so many uses for these, and you can find a lot of Things. If you like Teachers Pay Teachers, if you use that in your homeschool, there are a lot of cards like task cards and boom cards and games that you can use these for. So I think these are a great investment. They're a good way to keep all those things that lay around like flashcards and all that kind of stuff. It's a great way to keep them organized and in one place because I can close this up just like this and store it ever so neatly and not have all this stuff laying around. So these are an awesome asset to have. To me, they are ultimate. I've used this for years. I bought this when I taught and have used it for years. And finally, the last thing that I wanna share with you, remember this one has nothing to do with organization, but to me, it is ultimate. I actually purchased this, um, it was when I was teaching kindergarten and I used it in my classroom for three solid years before I decided to come home and homeschool my son. So, pencil sharpeners. Now, here at home, we use mechanical pencils, but for our color pencils, we still needed a good sharpener. And in a classroom setting, or if you have a bunch of children and you still use pencils that need to be sharpened, you need a good pencil sharpener. There's nothing worse than a crappy pencil sharpener, okay? So, I got this off of Amazon years ago. This is the Exacto School Pro, and you guys, it is awesome. Not only has it lasted, it's going on six years right now, because this was the end of our third homeschooling year. Going on six years, this pencil sharpener is amazing. Like I said, I had this in my kindergarten classroom, and the great thing about it is it senses when the pencil is finished sharpening and it cuts off. So your kid cannot stand there and sharpen it down to their eraser. They're not just gonna stand over there for days, you know, to waste time. It was easy enough for my kindergartners to use it. That was one of our kindergarten jobs. Somebody was in charge of that at the end of the day to go sharpen the pencils and they could get it done in no time because as soon as it's sharp, it cuts right off. And that's what I love about it. It is awesome. It sharpens pencils very well. Love this pencil sharpener and I'll have it linked below. To me, this is ultimate. If it's lasted this long and it does this good of a job and even a five-year-old can use it, it's great. So that's the last thing I wanted to share. And I about had a disaster right there in the floor. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the things that I shared today. Remember, don't forget to check out Leilani's channel and don't forget to check out the playlist link down below. Let me know what your ultimate back to school homeschool supplies are. I would love to hear. I love school supplies, like love it. When I see them out in Target and Walmart, I'm just like giddy. I'm like a kid at Disney World. I love school supplies. So let me know what your ultimate ones are down in the comments below. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, share it with your friends, and as always, thank you so much for watching.